is Jamami Yates Brown, I fight at 63 kilos and I train at British Judo Centre of Excellence. I was a gymnast before and my coaches told me I wasn't elegant enough for the sport and my sister used to do judo but my mum tried to keep us separate so we'd be good at different things but I just wanted to always do what my sister did so I went on to judo and hopefully I was better than her. Now my sister didn't, she did it for a bit but she doesn't do it now. But my, my mum finds it difficult to watch because she gets so nervous. So she flew to Miami for the Junior Worlds last year, but she hid in the toilet all day. I don't really ever think that I'm that good. Like, I just do it because I enjoy it. And it's not really about getting medals, doing well. I do judo because I like fighting and I like training. So I don't really see it as a job. It's more something that I love doing and I'm lucky enough to get paid to do it. I was on holiday in Centre Parks and I got a call that morning asking if I'd like to fight at Commonwealth Games because someone got injured. So I had to quickly pack my bags, fly up to Scotland and then fought, won my medal, came back and prepared for a tournament in Germany a few, week, few days later. It was good, one minute I was playing Laser Quest with my family and the next minute I'm at Commonwealth Games. But it was right because I didn't really have to get nervous or anything because I didn't know I was meant to be fighting. I've seen all the other team members did quite well, so I think that sort of spurred me on to try and do well myself. And I didn't really, uh, I'd, I'd been preparing for a lot of tournaments anyway, obviously not the Commonwealths, but there's a tournament in Poland, then there was Germany, and leading up to the Europeans and Worlds for juniors. So I was kind of already in competition season, so it's just another bonus, really. So I like fighting anyway, any competition I like to do well in, so it didn't really phase me that it was a big one. But yeah, it was it was good because I didn't really have time to think about how big it was or who I was going to be fighting. I just went up and did it. I did I finished last year quite well. What got bronze at Junior World Championships, and then started this year was going okay. I got a World Cup medal in Austria, and then a few Junior European Cup medals. And then in August this year, I tore a ligament in my knee. So. I didn't. I missed out on the Junior Europeans and Worlds again this year, but I feel like I've done enough Junior tournaments anyway to go into Seniors with enough experience, not just to make up numbers, hopefully. It was the same day I was selected for Junior Europeans, and yeah, I just felt something ping in my knee and knew it wasn't right. Definitely devastating, because I've hurt my knees before, and I know what the feeling is like when you do something bad and I knew it was pretty much something similar or worse. So I just had to get on with it, get MRI scan and see what it said. Yeah, this is going to be my first real time as a senior. I've done a few tournaments before, some for experience, some to see how I would get on. And I did, I've done it right in a few and some haven't gone as well because they're a lot stronger. But I feel like I'm not starting from scratch, so. I think the biggest difference is they're more tactically better. They, they use their brains a lot more. I don't really use my brain, I just go out and fight. So I have to think a lot more when I fight seniors. I was born in Tunbridge and lived there since, since I was about eight or nine. Well, before that I was in Hawkehurst in Kent and then in Tunbridge and I've grown up there. My mum and dad are teachers in Tunbridge and Seven Oaks. So yeah, pretty much had to move up here when it's this opened. I think you have to do whatever you have to do to be the best. So if it meant coming up here to continue trying to get to Tokyo, then that's what you've got to do. Well, we're really lucky here because we have a nutritionist who comes in once, twice a week. Then we've got SNC coaches who are very switched on with all that sort of stuff. So it's hard to remember it, but it's, it's part of recovery and to get you being the best. So it's just something you have to do. And I have one shake after weights or after hard session. I think Rio's probably definitely too soon. So I've just come out of juniors, I haven't done any senior qualifying events, so I think Tokyo is more realistic and there I'd be hoping to get a medal rather than just make up numbers. Mm -hmm.